Hello and welcome to another Cognos Analytics 11 demo. My name is Kwame Owuku, and in this demo, I'm going to show you the dashboarding capabilities of Cognos Analytics using some HR data that I created. Okay, so I have an Excel spreadsheet here for my company Catalytics, and all of this data is, is fake data, so don't put too much into it. But uh, it, most importantly, I have some HR-related um, attributes that most companies tend to care about. Uh, for instance, I have the job titles. Um, I have the last hire date. I have the employee types. And in my case, I have the contractors, the flex time, uh, full time, and then part time as my employee type. I have some performance ratings here as well. And then most importantly, I have the payroll class. And uh, for this demo, I'm only focusing on earnings, deductions, and taxes. But in your case, you might have different types of payroll um, dollars that go out um, each each month or each pay period. Okay, so I'm, I'll be focusing on these three different classes. And the payroll types is a subcategory of the payroll class. So for instance, earnings, you have salary, bonus, telephone, and a few other payroll types. And this is the amount. I'm storing all, all the amount in one column, and you can use an if and else statement or a case statement to break it out and create pivots of the payroll classes. So um, I have another demo where I show you how to do that. But besides that, I have the pay group as well, and I have the salary amount and a few other attributes. So to get to the dashboard based on this information, I first um, imported the spreadsheet and I was able to put this dashboard together. It, it's relatively not complicated, but essentially I am able to see all the, my earnings at the company level. Okay, so I have an earnings section where I have the different payroll types and I'm showing the percentage for each of the different categories. You know, case in point, salary the salary earnings code is is the highest is roughly 90 percent and i can easily change this to the dollar amount by going to the um by going over to the settings and changing the percentage to value instead of color so now it is instead of showing a percentage it's actually showing the 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 value Okay, so if you add all of this up, you are going to get the earnings amount shown in this box. Also, I have created navigation paths. So navigation paths essentially allow you to look at different categories of your data without having to change the columns. Okay, so I have a navigation, I have about four navigation paths created here. And again, I have another demo where I show you how to create um, navigation paths. But for me to use it, I simply click on, I simply click on the, on the pay row type. And when the toolbar comes up, I can click on the navigate. And now I can choose to consume the chart via job title. Okay. So now I'm looking at the different um, earnings in terms of the job title. So um, I'm seeing that the sales manager here is making the um, most out, is making the most earnings, essentially is what I wanted to say, you know, followed by the analyst, uh, followed by the ETL manager and then the analyst and the parking attendant, okay? So visually I am consuming this data immediately without having to go through my spreadsheet. You know, imagine how long it would have taken me to figure this out. But by using the, the dashboarding capability and the navigation path, I can very easily um, look at different levels of my data without having to do too much. Okay, so the benefits session is the same. I'm showing the percentage contribution for each of the different benefits that I have for uh, Cagletics. Okay, and um, on the right hand side, I have some filters. So essentially, I have my different, my pay groups, job titles, employee and employee type here. Okay, so I can, I'm going to go back to the payroll type before I start doing any, 
the filtering okay so back to where I was before now I'm going to say if I wanted to look at my earnings and benefits by the pay group executive you know I can filter the whole dashboard and it shows me again the dollar amounts the percentages and you know the contribution to taxes for just the pay group right and uh, actually let me get out of the edit mode so that I am I am in the consumption mode so um, I can click on monthly which is the code MON and I see that there are no I'm not there are no um, I see telephone salary but I don't see any OT so there are no OT dollars going into monthly all right, and I can further, you see that for my monthly employees, I see that I have Ahmed, Janet, and Kwame, you know, as the only monthly employees, okay? Now, to clear all the filters, I just go over to the ellipses at the top, and I hit clear all columns, and it takes me back to where I was when I started, okay? So, again, I can filter by contractor, and my dashboard filters accordingly. Now you see that I have another chart here which shows the comparison of my earnings, benefit, taxes, and then the net pay. Okay, but you see that when I filter, it is not affected. Um, the this chart is not being affected. That is because I have unlinked this chart from all of the other um, charts on my dashboard. And um, if I go back to edit mode. I can show you why this is the case so if I click on on this chart and I look at the links you see that this chart is not connected to any of the different um, I guess you can you can call them you know chats or widgets each of the different widgets on the dashboard because it is a two so all the ones are communicating with, with each other and if there's a common attribute um, it will filter accordingly okay so you can also look at the data so in case I wanted to look at the, the actual raw data I can just you know pull up the the little test icon here and I can see the raw data so that you know if I do not understand anything then I can actually validate the data myself okay so you know this is a very quick demo I wanted to show you you know to give you an idea of some of the things you can create and essentially you know whenever new data arri arrives you know you can you, you, you can just update the, the spreadsheet and um, automatically your, your dashboard will be refreshed and now I'm actually going to use a different I'm going to use a different theme right it's very easy to change the themes as well you know case in point if you if you did not if you do not like the dark background and it's hard for you to read you can change it to light and um, you know it, it looks it looks better depending on you know your your taste I can also change it to the default and uh, the default also looks uh, pretty nice so um, you can see that the dashboarding feature is powerful and um, the you you are presented with some visually appealing um, dashboards for your users to consume okay so again you can always contact me at Calculatics if you need help creating reports and dashboards and if you need specifically HR type reports um, for my multiple customers um, out there if you need any ultra reports or dashboards or you need any columns added or changed in your reports you can reach out to me as well and um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this HR demo with me I will show the executive demo in another in another tutorial okay thank you very much